I've seen enough hand tie to know where this is going. All right, so um, we're ending to the last video. I kind of just cut before we went to the loading screen. Uh, I don't know. On one hand, I just got the opening for uh, Kibito mode in one video, and now we just got uh, everything else in the second video. Because, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fucking dialogue. Or maybe I might just make it all one video, so I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be one video or a separate video altogether. We'll find out when I go to edit this. But, uh, yeah, anyways, we're, quali we're fighting in the first round of the preliminaries. Yes, let's move. Also, um, this Kirito has a sword and gun and sword, which is kind of a stupid combination, but uh, you can't stop it, right? It just, that's what it is. Can't even choose the damn sword you use, which is even worse. BOB preliminaries are one-on-one -on -one battles. First things first, I need to find my opponent. It's Kiriko, I'm a nobody. I have to get a little flashy if I want to catch Death Gun's attention. All right, here goes. So yeah, so as for skills, we have Sword Barrier 2, Dual Orbital 1, Vapor Roll Strike 2, and Tactical Roll. And for Gust Sword, we have Hyper Awareness, Horizontal Square, my favorite skill to use with the sword. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, so I'm not going to try, and Sharp Nail 2. So first things first, we're going we're to go ahead and pop this uh, Sword Barrier 2, because I don't like getting caught off guard. And then I'm going to just switch over to this, and we're going to put Hyper Awareness on, just in case our opponent has like a rocket launcher or something. And now we gotta go search for this bastard. So, um, depending on how long this takes, because I think I just seen him. I could be wrong. I might have seen him. Where you at, my dude? Like, come on now. There you go. What are you doing? And we're done here. All right. So I think we gotta do this like two more times. I could be wrong. And anytime they wanna bring up the screen, I wanna say anytime you wanna bring up the screen, it lets me know the fight is over. Yeah. All right, if they would get through the first match, no problem. I'm gonna see what I'm doing. As long as she doesn't go up against anybody too tough, she should be fine. So, your kitty toe. Huh? Who are you? Kiriko. What a ridiculous name. I haven't forgotten your swordplay. There's no way I could. I, I know this guy. From where? That's a orchid? Hello? Your Kirito. That I know. That mark. Let's settle this. Kirito. 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 What's wrong, Kirito? Sinon. What's going on? Your face is so pale. What happened? Are you feeling sick or something? No, I'm fine. Or maybe not. Take it easy for a little while. We still got the time before the next match starts. Laughing Coffin? What's someone from, what's someone from there doing in GGO? No clue. Of all times. Why now? Laughing Coffin? That was the player killing guild that existed before I got stuck in SAA Club, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. The emblem was definitely theirs. And they're being tried after being trapped inside SAO. Those bastards. They ignored the unwritten rule about not reducing another player's health to zero. It seemed like their leader, POH, was just killing people for fun. And I I ended up joining this subjugation force that stopped them. You don't need to force yourself to talk about it. There was nothing you could do. After Coffin put up a serious fight. Hey, hey, Reki Kawahara, listen. Big fan of the Sword Art Alliance series, okay? Love your work for it. It, it, it ranges from okay to good, to, from okay to great sometimes. Love your work with Alization so far. Listen, can we get a 30 minute to one hour special focusing on this? Cause Kitty Toe has brought up this fight numerous times. And we've seen very little about it. It wasn't until Alization, like the first episode of Alization, where we actually got some sort of idea of what this fight was like. I'm just saying, I just want a 30 minute fight. I just want a 30 minute episode to them basically talking about Laughing Coffin, talking about their leader, explaining how they're going to go attack these guys. They go in to attack them, 
and it just shows the entire fight with Kirito and Asuna and everybody else in it just fighting laughing coffin. Okay? That's all I'm asking. Just 30 minutes to an hour. That's all I'm asking. But I, I can't even remember the names of the faces of the people I killed. The guy from before it might have been a friend of one of the players I killed. That's enough, Kirito. I'm fine. I'm fine. I can't say I'm not in shock, though. You remember, don't you? Like, as a origin, I was able to recall what I did. Even though I tried on a subconscious level to forget, I still remember the crimes I committed. I might finally have to confront what I did. Are you going to enter the next match? Yeah. I didn't calm down enough to fight. Thanks for being here with me, c -Nod. Be careful out there, Kirito. Alright. Second match. Let's go. Okay. So, uh... We're going to go ahead and... Jesus, Kirito is so fucking slow. What are your stats like? Ugh. You need higher agility. You need... I can't even change your weapons. That's the worst part about it. It's not even like I would use an assault rifle, but fuck. Just like... I don't, I don't know. Just... He moves slow. He moves too slow for me, and then... Because when I play... When I play this game, I'm... Usually the agility stat character. I get him run like hell in this game. Okay. Sword Barrier, Hyper Awareness, and we switch back. I kind of want to use Dual Orbital. Just because it's a fun skill to use. So where are you at, my guy? There you go. Now you can put that down. This kid's here. Mmm. Sit down. Don't know where that road bullet came from, but I'm glad I blocked it. Alright, cool. Next. Any time today, game. Here we go. Alright. Looks like you had no problem making it through the preliminaries. Yeah. I guess you didn't either. Of course, I remember the two of us are advancing to the final round, which is going to be held on a large field. As the players are joined, are going to be positioned on a certain distance from each other, with the last one standing being the winner. Help we get positioned close to Defcon. Searching from among all the other players seems like it's going to be kind of tough. I bet, lo I bet that laughing coughing guy in the ragged clothes, and the ragged cloak is going to be there too. Huh. What's wrong, Kikito? I feel like I heard that laughing coughing guy's voice somewhere before. Well, yeah, you met him in SAO. No, I mean, more recently. I guess I didn't realize it before, but he was speaking so quietly. His voice is similar to Def Guns, and he was wearing that ragged cloak. Just like, the pe just like, people, said just like people said about Def Gun. Wait, you know what Def Gun's voice sound like? Kyoka happened to get his hands on a recording of his voice. That's how they talk is a little different, but there's no doubt that it's him. Wait, you don't think Def Gun was a member of Laughing Coffin? Yeah, probably. A guy in a ragged cloak from a guy in a ragged cloak from remembered me. He knows that I was Kirito on the SAO. Who the hell is he? He was just some run of the mill. He wasn't just some run of the mill member. Maybe he was one of the higher ranking members. Uh, it's no use. His name is the only thing I can't remember. I know I fought him once before, Kirito. See now, I'm going to fight him again. I'm going to, I'm going to fight him to figure this out. I'm going to find out who he is. <sighs> so you're just going to handle this on your own, even though you told me not to fight? Uh, uh, well, that's... I also have a score to settle with him. Actually, I came here for a death gun. That pistol of his. It's the same one I grabbed from a robber when I shot him when I was 11. Oh. So well, that's why. I can't bear to think of people being killed by that gun. I won't let it happen. Kito, join me. This is the perfect opportunity for both of us to settle things from our past. Right. Let's do this, you know. Alright. Settle the score with Death Gun. 
Okay. Alright, so do I just go back to the uh, teleporter? Yep, sure do. Alright, so the way this is looking, I might just make this into like one long video instead of like two short ones. Solitary Sands. Was this is the field where the final matches with BOB? This is the field for the final match of the BOB, huh? That means players are going to be spread out pretty far. It probably won't be triggered right after this match starts. It probably won't be... Uh, I probably won't be targeted right after the match starts. But I should still move in the shadows just to be safe. First, I want to find a meetup with Sinon. If I'm lucky, I won't have to go looking for it too far. But it looks like there's no one around here. It's a real pain. It's a real pain that I can't use communication tools during the match. I guess I should start by heading to the center of the field. Kirito, where could he be? Maybe he's caught up in a fight somewhere? I seriously hope he doesn't run into Death Gun. I'll wait for him a little longer. But if he doesn't show, I guess we're going to have to go look for him. Has the fighting started already? I can use my sniper rifle scope to check. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. No, someone's being chased. It's up against a player I've never seen before. Those are incredible moves. That player's gotta be pretty strong. If they keep this up, I bet they'll win the match right away. I don't know that player in the ragged cloak is using a sniper rifle. Wait, ragged cloak? It can't be. I can't see the avatar name from here. Now I'll bet she has to get closer to try and see. But if that player gets defeated here, then in real life they'll... There's isn't the time to be worrying about that. Sorry for stealing your cue. Until I figure out his avatar name, I can't defeat Def Gun. That's why I tried defeating the player he was after. That should prevent Def Gun from targeting him. I don't have time to think about that. I need to get moving. This attack just probably gave away my location to Def Gun. Kito, hurry up and get over here. That was weak. I'm gonna give it a buck with you. I like the version of that where it was like uh, where uh, they seen where uh, Kirito and uh, Sinon seen the guy fighting Death Gun, and Death Gun pretty much just like knocked him out. And Sinon was like begging, and not Sinon, but Kirito was like begging Sinon. He's like, please shoot him so he doesn't die by death. Please shoot this man. <laughs> Like, I, I don't know. I just found that more interesting than just simply, oh, Santa was like, oh, I'm just going to kill you so you don't have to go through that. It can't be. No way. I don't believe it. He says he's wearing a disguise himself by using a different account, but... What kind of sword play? That's definitely Kitty Tone. No doubt about it. Plus, his name is Kitty Ko. But why go with a girl avatar? Wait. Don't tell me his face was actually always this cute. Relax. He's probably just a real, a rare male avatar. It's pretty easy to spot for those who know him, but it's still a little surprising. It's funny they say that, but then, don't, but then it's even funnier when you realize uh, Sinon didn't even know who the fuck this nigga was. Don't worry, Mommy. It doesn't matter what Daddy looks like. He's still just as strong. Surprise, uneasiness. After, there are so many emotions I don't, un I don't know what to say. It's okay to laugh. Hey, can we look at a screenshot of Kiriko? Good idea. Let's take a bunch so we can always look back on this. Uh, looks like Kirito's already won. Hey, the screen changed. They probably had a bunch of cameras all over the place so they can keep, they can keep a, they can swap the live feed from different fights. Gotcha. I wonder who he's going to fight next. Check it out. Looks like someone picking off up. Looks like someone's picking off other players while they fight. Oh, what do you know? The player's a girl. What is that girl? I feel like we've seen her somewhere. Hold up. That gun. Is that Sinon? Wait, wait. I didn't hear anything about Sinon joining the fight. Yeah, what's up with that? I wonder if they're in the BLB too. You told her it was too dangerous to answer. Didn't Sinon get this? Didn't Sinon get sick when we were talking about Death Gun before? What does Sinon want with Death Gun? I thought the issue was with the gun, not the person. <sighs> That's Sinon. What does she hope? What does she hope to accomplish by? What does she hope to accomplish by being even more reckless than Kirito? I'm heading over to the governor's office. Wait, can you rewind the video? 
Yeah, we got the recording of the data. Let me see. Here. What the? That's Laughing Coffin. That's Laughing Coffin's emblem. Hey, what the hell is Laughing Coffin doing in GGO? I don't know. I don't know, but... I want to let Kyoka know about this. You guys, wait right here. Let's see. This, is, this should be just about the center of the field. I bet he's seen I secured a good sniping position by now. Probably somewhere over there. I think I'll head up to see. Shinon! Shinon, hang in there. You are Kirito, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. Your name, it's Steven? My name is Death Gun. I'm the one who passed judgment on the, on the basis of true power. I thought the name you had before. Oh, so you recall that much, have you? Still, you'll never remember my name. What do you mean by that? That girl was a friend of yours, yes? I'll enjoy taking my time finishing her later. I want you to watch as she dies, tormented by the knowledge of your own powerlessness, of your foolishness. Now, draw your sword. My plan worked. Can't see anything inside the smoke, can you? I say hello to my machine gun. It's time to taste lead. Sounds like the fighting's got to start down below. This place is not suitable for dispensing judgment. Go, run, cower in fear. That girl's end. That girl's life ends today. Wait, what do you mean? Is Sin on your target? Death gun. Wait, where did he go? Oh, looks like I found myself a survivor. Sorry, but I don't have time to waste with you right now. See him jump to the ground in all that smoke? No, there's a fighting. There's fighting going on down there too. Or he has some sort of rare hiding skill. Sinar, are you okay? She looks like she's in pretty bad shape. We better get out of here now. I'm sorry, Kitty Toe. Sinar. Grab onto me. We need to move. After all that gunfight, this place will be crawling with players in no time. Defcon probably realized that too. We need to find somewhere to hide. The theme for Solitary Sands kind of sort of reminds me of uh, the Uncharted theme. Uh, what's it called? Uh, it's a song. It's based around uh, Drake. It's based around Nathan Drake. I forgot what it's called. Uh, I think it's called the Nathan Drake theme 3.0 or something like that. It, something like that. I forgot. We can hide out here for now. What about Def Gun? Don't worry. He's not here. He came out of nowhere. Huh? Earlier he was talking about killing another player. I took a sniper shot at I took a sniper shot to stop him. Then I relocated because I gave him away my position. But suddenly he was just there. It didn't seem like he disappeared all at once inside that smoke. Maybe he's got some type of a gadget or skill that lets him turn invisible. Yeah, makes sense if it would be the effect of some gadget. And from this location, we'll be able to hear anyone. We'll be able to hear any approaching footsteps. That's a little reassuring. I guess now you've seen how pathetic I can be, huh? With that gun pointing that gun at me, I just froze. The thought of fighting back didn't even occur to me. You're the only reason I'm still alive. Still, I'm really weak, aren't I? If I were to look at that gun again... You're not weak, Sinon. Didn't you just say you saved another player's life? Now it's my turn. I'm gonna protect you. So go ahead and rest. Kirito, you're gonna take them all by yourself? You really are strong. No, not really. I'm scared too, you know. But I never want to lose another one of my friends again, no matter what. Let me just get a little closer to you. Give me your strength. Sina, when I was 11 years old, I killed someone. Ever since then, I've been afraid of guns. So when I joined GGO and found out that guns here didn't bother me, I was happy. It gave me hope that I can overcome my trauma in the real world too. I thought it would be okay because I had your support. 
You, Asuna, everyone. But it was no good. After all, I'm afraid of guns here too. I couldn't do a thing. Still cowering in fear like this? It's worse than death. Kito, I'm going to fight too. No, it's too dangerous. Death gun is coming after you. My body is being monitored in the hospital in the real world. But you're alone in your apartment. I let you change the fact that it's still dangerous for both of us. Besides, it's not like death gun's going to attack the real me. Attack the real you? Is that possible? Death gun's long to GGO. And anyway, there's no way he can know where I am right now. But wait, is there only one death gun? Huh? He might be working with someone. No, I know it. There's gotta be a second death gun. What do you mean? One of them. The one with the avatar wearing the cloak. Shoots someone in GGO. Meanwhile, the other kills the player in the real world while they're helpless. Impossible. Nobody knows where other players are in the real world. Yeah, that's a problem. Not even Zarks know the player's real address. That's why Kyoka has the research has the research of the game laws after we found out Death Gun's game F Gun's avatar name to track him down in the real world. But now we know that Death Gun is an SAO survivor. If we could find out his name if we find out what his name was back then, getting his info will be easy. The government keeps a record of the names and addresses of the SAO survivors. If only I can remember his name. Hey Kirito, I just thought of something just now. Zars might actually know the player's address. What? How? Shipping addresses. Rewards for events like BLB are more than just rare items. They include model guns based on weapons in GGO. You have to register an address to get them. That's right. They want an address field on. There was an address field on the BLB registration form. Sinon, don't tell me you registered yours. I did. I don't. I don't know how they stole the data from Zars. But Tefkan has my address. Someone's coming for me in the real world. Sinon. Don't worry, I'm scared, but I'll fight. All right, so let's come up with a plan. In every known case so far, Defcon has first, Defcon's first killed his target in the game. Specifically, he shoots them with that handgun. And not a very powerful one. Isn't that odd when he's got a separate main weapon? There must be some meaning behind it, and we're gonna use it. Sinon, you stay clear of him. He's probably coming after us, so I'll head out to draw him away. Hey, you come after me. I provide sniper support once we start fighting. I don't like you being the only one exposed to danger. But considering our abilities, I can see that's our best strategy. Let's do it, Kirito. Alright. Ah, uh, let's go. So, are you prepared to die? I'm not afraid. I'm afraid not. You don't have what it takes to kill me. After all, I never registered my address, so you can hardly access information that isn't there. Is that so? I figured out your little trick, Def Gun. Or should I say, Def Guns? Well, it seems you were unable to remember my name. You're nothing but a coward. You run from your sins, trying to forget what you've done, trying to forget everything. But I remember. I remember your name, and I remember the things you've done. You are my target, Black Swordsman Kirito. And now, it show- Okay, you know what? Now that's an odd weapon. Nobody told me there were metal swords in GGO. Huh, I made it. Crafted it with my own skills. Though so apparently, this is a big- this is as big and heavy as it can get. You must be dissatisfied with yours. My that sword looks as light as a mere toy. It suits me just fine. A sword is a sword. And all I need and it's all I need to take you down. A long needle like sword. An S stock. If I remember correctly, my laughing coffin's high ranking members use one of those. His swordsmanship is considerably better now than it was before. But it's that but that is his sword. Just, what is his name? Alright. And then just drop the whole name right there. Oh my goodness, my health! Okay. 
Give yourself up, Death Gun. The police aren't idiots. They can use your avatar name to check the game's logs and analyze your information. You might not know it, but the Ministry of Eternal Affairs has personal data on all the SAO survivors. Put an end to this now, Death Gun. Nice try, Black Swordsman. But you'll never remember my name. You'll never be able to stop me. What makes you so sure? It's simple. Back then, I tried to tell it to you. But you wouldn't listen. You never knew my name. So that's why you'll never remember it. Now, I'm going to defeat you. You can look in horror as I kill, and, as I kill the girl. Okay, that was a weird reason to stop it. We could have just stopped it after I beat him and then said round two, fight. But okay. You know, stop the fight in the middle just because we can have a little intermission. That, that's cool. I didn't know I was playing a Dragon Ball Z game. That does so much unnecessary damage. Eh, I missed. That's cool. Oh yeah, you gotta miss me on that, Chief. Oh, fuck no. That's... Mm. Come on. Mm -mm. Come on. And that's game. It seems like it's time to honor my promise. It seems like the time to honor my promise is at hand. Now, let's settle this once and for all. Huh? That's right. We met again after SAO, didn't we? It was an SA origin. Isn't that right? So you remember that, do you? Why are you after me? Back then I fought against you as a member of the subjugation force. Is this revenge for, have, for having been locked up in the prison until we managed to clear the game? I am a true murderer. I'm not like you. Someone who killed only to survive. And I pass judgment upon you and your false strength. What I am, what I am about to do is something you'll never forget. I heard about the S, I heard about the S stock user. I heard about this S stock user from Austin long ago. Avi Coppin's top ranking members were Johnny Black, the man clad entirely in black with poison eyes, and one other man. He wore a cape with an upside down red cross. He had red hair and eyes, and he used an S stock. What's wrong? Is that all you got? This is never going to end. I need to force him to give me an opening. It's over, Zaza. Now that I remember, we can find out who you really are. Your accomplices are going to last long either. Laughing off its murderers ends here. No, it's not over. I won't let it end. I'm not acting alone. You're going to suffer. So, it's all over? Yeah, I remember his name. It won't be long now until they catch those killers. But his accomplice could be standing right next to me as we speak. That gun couldn't kill you, Sinan. 
He's probably got his own set of rules that he follows. I doubt his accomplice will come after you, but you should still be careful. I'll head over to check things. I'll head over to check things out after I log off. Your place isn't far from the hospital. After you log off, huh? We still have to finish this tournament. Oh well, yeah. Uh, what do you think we should do? I can't think of anything. People watching are pretty upset. How about we both win at once? I'd love to do that if we could. What's your plan? We use a party grenade. When you lose, you can do this to take your opponent down with you. Here, take it. What? Bullet of bullets. Complete. Alright. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you know the rest of the story, then you know it. But if not, let me just break it down like this. You know who the other person is. You already knew. There's no one here. And my door's locked. But if Kirito was right, then Defcon's accomplice was just here. He's not hiding under the bed or anything, is he? Who's there? Sean, congratulations on winning B.O.B. I came over to celebrate. Kyoji? Sorry, I just showed up like this. But I wanted to celebrate. Give me some cake. If you don't mind, store bought. Hold on, I'll be right there to open the door. Thanks for letting me in. Can you go ahead and have a seat right there? No, I don't mind. Well, I don't have much to offer besides tea. It's fine. You must be exhausted. So, uh, Shion, huh? before the tournament, remember I told you I'd come talk to you after this was all over? Right, I remember now. Oh, Shion, about the guy Kirito, how do you feel about him? Well, that came out of nowhere. Why do you ask? I mean, is there something wrong with me? I can totally be there for you all the time. I can protect you. The avatar you were in the finals with the black hair. That was Kirito, right? What are you doing with him? You're supposed to only have eyes for me. Kyoji, just calm down, okay? It isn't right for you to betray me, Shion. I'm the only one for you. Hey, Shion, you need to hold still. I'm gonna give you this shot. But believe me, you won't feel a thing. It might make you, it makes you so your heart just stops. There's no pain. So you don't have to be afraid. With this, the two of us will be one. We will be reborn. Stay together forever. Oh, that's creepy. That's... Look, man. <laughs> God damn it. Take a sip of this water real quick before I say what I'm about to say. I need to clear my throat. This one. I've seen enough hand tied to know where this is going. And this is clear. Clearly, if you went on a hand tie site... And when under the rape category, this could easily be the thumbnail for any fucking hentai manga you read. I see that shit. I love you. I've always looked up to you so much. Do you, do you remember when we first met? You were looking at that gun catalog in the library. I knew before I said anything that you would be the girl who killed that criminal. What? The rumors were all around town, you see. I was so impressed. I looked up to you. You were someone with true strength. I love you, Shion. Stop! Sina! Kirito? That's like the most abbreviated. That's the most abridged version of that shit ever. Like, oh yeah, yeah Kirito just arrived with the police on his back. It's like. I mean, I, I get it. That's not how it was in the anime, and this is the game's version. But, like, yeah, this nigga Kitty Tongues wrote up, I got the police with me. <laughs> like, you think this nigga cares? Sinon. No fair, Sinon. I wanted to be in the B.O.B. too. Okay. I guess I shouldn't be too upset. They, they did both make it back after all. Everyone, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to worry you guys. See, seeing you on B.O.B. was quite a surprise. I'm sorry. I thought if I said anything, you'd try and stop me. How silly. Of course we would have stopped you. I'm glad we have you back, Sinan. It's great to know that you're okay. Uh, 
Ah, never mind. I'm glad you're okay too, Daddy. Welcome back. Yes, welcome back, Kirito. Congratulations on winning the BLB. Thanks. You must be feeling lonely. You must be feeling lonely with Asuna ignoring you like that. Want me to comfort you? Still, don't cling to him like that. It's embarrassing just watching you. Hey, Kirito. I see that girly avatar of yours. You were so cute. No way. I'm never using that thing again. Besides, Kyoko was the one who set it up. I'm not paying the account fees, so it'll probably just get deleted now that it served its purpose. Seriously? That's a real shame. Speaking of Mr. Kyoko, apparently Duck Gun's been captured. Seeing his laughing with that too was a real shock, man. I never expected to see that kind of crap in GGO. Yeah, it surprised me too. Anyway, based on what Kyoka told me, and some reasoning of my own, I seen there were two death guns. One was Kyoji Shinkawa, and the other who was known as Spiegel in GGO. And as the origin, before he came here, he played under the name of Richter. The other death gun was Kyoji's older brother, Soichi. He was Red Eye Zaza from Laughing Coffin. Red Eye Zaza? An S Talk user? Wasn't he the Laughing Coffin? Wasn't he Laughing Coffin's top ranking member? We got captured when we put a, when we put him out of commission. Don't tell me he was out for revenge. Apparently, it was all pretty complicated. That's what I heard from Kyoka. The Shikawa brothers were the heirs to the, the were heirs to the large hospital. The Soichi was sickly from a young age. With the SEO incident, Koichi, Kyoji was named Eric and given very strict education. Kyoji's grades were never good enough. He was starting to get desperate. Despite all this though, apparently the brothers still get along well. Kyoji seemed to, seemed to especially look up to Soichi, who became a killer in SAO. Maybe that sounded to, huh, maybe that sounded to Kyoji like an escape from the pressures of reality. Wow. I had no idea. Now I do remember him getting upset about the results of his practice exams. And the brothers started playing VR games together. GGO, Kyoji became Spiegel. I'm sure you ran across him at least once. Shoichi became disturbing, which is German in the, in the clinical term for death. Death? I wonder what gave him the idea of a name like that. Beats me. That's something you could use to spec. That's something you could speculate about. But never know for sure. Like when exactly he decided to start killing. Still, we have a general idea of what gave him the, uh, that opportunity. It was that ragged cloak of his. He traded it. He traded for it with real money. It has an ability, material optic camouflage, which could turn you invisible. What? Wait, that, there's a cloak that could turn you invisible? Yeah, I never heard of anything like that before. It's probably even rarer than seeing a sniper rifle. Anyway, he used it to spy on terminals in the governor's office. He would use it to see a player if he would see a player enter their personal information. Apparently, it started as a prank. And Kyoji complained to him about the top players who'd be giving bad advice that ruined his character development. That's when he that's where their plans to act as Def Gun took shape. They discovered XD and Yushio's Tarakos. Tarako's private information and they decided to act. Those large hospitals have legitimate master keys for opening the doors to patients' homes in case of emergencies. With one of those, a syringe, it's a powerful drug that the brothers stole. They killed XD and Ushio Taraka. But the public awareness of Death Gun never amounted to more than wild rumors. Nobody took him seriously. Right, That's a, I thought it was a hoax when it first I thought it was a hoax when I first heard the rumors. The brothers wanted to show off Death Gun and BLB. Well, at least until they found out Sina and I had joined. Kyoji wanted to come after me, didn't he? And Suichi was out for me. Wait, so did one of us sneak into your house? No. Suichi, Zaza wasn't after my life. I don't think so. I didn't register him in dress anyways. I think he wanted to hurt me. To make me go through to something worse than death. He called me a coward and claimed that my strength was false. Probably more than anything, he was upset that I had forgotten about them. I didn't even try to remember. Don't blame yourself, Kirito. If it weren't for you, everyone he planned to kill in BLB would be dead. That includes me. 
Shina. Say, why did Death Gun kill people anyways? I know he was murdering top players to gain. I know like murdering top players would gain him anything. Came back in SEO. I never understood why Laughing Coffee committed those murders. Anyways, we're, we only just started learning about this. A lot is still under investigation, including whether more people were involved. Maybe we'll learn something from the Shikawa brothers, though I doubt it'll be easy. I don't really know about his older brother. No, sure, Kay, he owed you at least would be like, was like, was just like all of you. You wanted to be a top player. You wanted to be the best. What do you mean? He wanted to get better, be stronger. That's all. Koji had a rough, Koji had a rough in real life, and both in SA Origin and GTO, he was always aiming for the top. He put so much time. He put so much of his time. He put in so much of his time. I think VR became his true reality. And maybe there's nothing more than an escape, but Koji was seriously all about it. It just didn't work out, and he began to idealize me more and more. But those feelings came from somewhere. Somewhere I think we can all relate to. I think you're right. Of course, I'm not excusing what he did, but I like to talk to him sometime. Okay, wow, okay, skipping dialogue. I want him to tell me. I want to. I want. I want to tell him about me. About Shion Asada. About Sinon. And about the different things I thought, I thought about. I can see that. I'll be sure to pass it on to Kyoka. Yes, please do. One more important thing. The Shikawa brothers claim that they didn't steal any Nerf Gears. They could be lying, but I don't think they are. Kyoka is following up on this too. I want you all to be careful. Remy. Alright. I was about to say, wait, what the fuck? I was to say, I'm just in the background killing. Remy, you should want your friend. Alright. Remy's not here. Yeah. Cody has a list good and Iski aren't here either. Okay, Daddy. I'll send a message to the office. Good. What I have to, what I have to tell them is highly classified, so ask them to come see me when they have time. Got it. Oh, well, there was an error. That's odd. This error message says that our fest is in the GDO. What? Then what about the others? We can't find, we can't find that out, Kirito. On our GDO system, you can't even tell if a player is logged in. So, uh, how about we get in touch in the real world? If someone has their contact info, I don't. Probably nobody else does either. I didn't even ask their real names. Yeah, why is it that message in GDL too? There was never any reason to get their real contact info. Julie, can you look into what may have happened to the Arthas? I'll give it a try. Stara, come here. Can you help me out too? Yes, I'd like Seven to work I'll like Seven to work with us as well. You got it. We'll figure this out. Is there anything I can do? I hope too. I know. I can look around the city for signs of cutting and the others. No. I think we better all get ready for a fight. I have a bad feeling about this. The following has been unlocked. The following gadgets and skills have been unlocked. Fans of blood, material camouflage. And we learned the sacred art for gun and swords. Great. Congratulations on completing Kirito mode. As you continue the quest with as you continue the quest with friends and increase your infinity, they will make their way to the governor's lobby, speak with them, and something wonderful might happen. You can change your kitty's outfit in the bedroom. To do so, approach the red and press X to open and change outfit menu. Okay, so I'm going to end this video right here. This is a long one. I am now thinking that these are all just going to be one video because fuck it, why not? So yeah, I'm going to end this video right here. If you guys did enjoy this video, why don't you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And when we come back, we're going to see what our character was doing while Kirito was chasing after Death Gun the entire time. So yeah, with that being said, this is Charity Play signing out saying peace. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. And dos de